Okay, let's see. Cookies left out for Santa? Check. Warm yet festive and flashy outfit for travel? Check. Presents for all of Trixie's friends? <laughs> After last year, double check. It may have taken Trixie 12 years, but she finally has everything ready for Ghost's annual visit. Which should be any minute now. 30 minutes later. She's not usually this late. It's uncharacteristically tardy. One hour later. She better not be playing hooky, or worse. Be out helping some pony avoid nigh eternal punishment. <gasps> Finally! Do you know how long Trix- Get off of Trixie's temporary yard, you fluffy rat! Raising Trixie's hopes only to cruelly dash them and increase her worry for her friend is messed up! Later. <sighs> 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 Much later. Oh, behold the great and powerful. <laughs> what? Huh? Morning already? Wait, that means ghost never came. Why didn't she come? Does this mean Trixie's lessons are over? Will ghost ever visit again? Trixie just can't believe Ghost didn't show up. It's just not Heart's Warming Eve without her. Later. <laughs> what if she's lost, hurt, or worse? Wait, can Ghosts even get or worse? Later. Maybe Trixie is overthinking it. Maybe Ghost will show up tonight. It's still Heart's Warming Day after all. Oh, Trixie just needs to get her mind off of it. There's nothing worrying will do to change anything. And if worse comes to worse, Trixie can always ask Starlight or Twilight for help. Happy hearts warming, Mom and Dad. Well, if it isn't our little filly... Beatrix, you made it! Dad, you know Trixie prefers Trixie. <laughs> Nonsense, sweetie. Beatrix is an old Lula Moon family name. We should go sit down and have you tell us all about your adventures while we wait on dinner. And I can regale you a bit about my own shows in the city. Later. It's certainly wonderful having you back for Hearth Swarming this year. Yes, it's been very nice. Is everything okay, sweetheart? You seemed a little down this evening. Oh, Trixie's fine. She's just worried about a friend. She was supposed to visit Trixie yesterday, but never showed up. I hope it's nothing too serious. Perhaps she just got very busy with it being Heart Swarming Eve. Good heavens, would you look at that blizzard out there? Oh, dear. Oh, Trixie certainly isn't looking forward to walking back out to her wagon in that. Oh, no, 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 no! You most certainly will not be stepping one hoof outside! You, you can almost sleep in your old room tonight. Later that night. Wow. Trixie has always had great style. Once again, later. Trixie Lamo. Mm. Trixie Lamo. Uh, ghost? Technically, yes. Are... aren't you King Sombra? Alas, it is just Sombra now. Why are you here? Do you know where Ghost is? You mean your usual spirit. The higher-ups told me that I would take her place for your final lesson. A final lesson? What is it? I'm not allowed to tell you the exact situation. But suffice to say, I will deliver you to the location and set you upon the right path. Can you at least tell Trixie anything about Ghost? Is she okay? I'm afraid I don't know anything to tell. I'm still the new guy, so the bosses don't tell me very much. You know, a more inquisitive pony wouldn't pass up the chance to ask about the afterlife in some kind of spirit hierarchy. But they're not here, and Trixie's not a nerd, so let's get going. 
Okay, where do we start? Here's a quick rundown of the lesson. First of all, we are at a place called Madame Olive Twist's Orphanage. Secondly, we are several decades in the past. And you will be learning how to and how not to act by watching another pony. That's heavy. In fact, the poor soul you will be following is about to come through that door. Ah, Trixie can't wait to see the sweet little fool. Why, in Celestia's name, is this place still open? I signed the eviction warrant two days ago. Wait, you mean Trixie's example is ghost? Well, more specifically, an example of who not to be like. But yes, since you know her story ends in eternal chains, perhaps this will be the final push you need. But before you begin, there are some rules. Of course. First, you will be able to interact with her, but only her. No other pony will be able to see or hear you. Next, since this is the past, she will have no memory of you. Well, duh. But in no way can you reveal to her your history together. Lastly, you cannot tell her anything of her future. If she asks who you are, simply say you are a spirit of Heartwarming Eve, not a friend from the future. Got it. I just can't believe you shut down the orphanage on Heartwarming Eve. Well, if you had shut it down two days ago, when I told you to, this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> wow. Even I recognize that that was evil. Well, good luck. Good luck? Aren't you going to stay to... <laughs> Uh, help and guide, Trixie? Alright, well, Trixie, you'd better get going. Wait! Ghost! Why, yes, you seem to be. Uh, no, no, uh, um, Trixie doesn't remember your real name, uh, Gertrude, maybe? You can call me Bean Counter. Bean counter? Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have pressing matters to attend to. Bean counter. Mm. Uh, no, wait! A Trixie is a, uh, spirit here to help you avoid an eternal afterlife of chains and torment. Whoa, hold on. Why can't Trixie do what was done for her and try to save Ghost, er, um, bean counter? Bean counter? That is such a weird name. I'll pass. I've got several errands to run. Well, in the meantime, Trixie will be sticking to you like glue. Fine. Just don't get in the way. I have some evictions I'm dying to get to. <laughs> this will be so easy. Yay, Trixie. Later. So far, you've evicted a whole orphanage, then a widow, you yelled at some small children, and finally, you left a flaming paper bag on a porch. So, uh, maybe don't do these things? Trixie doesn't even know what you got out of that last one. Leave me alone! Trixie is just trying to- The only thing you're trying is my patience! Has any pony ever told you you're like an annoying little sibling that's constantly nagging and tattling? No, that's pretty specific. But Trixie has been told that she's obnoxious and disliked. Ugh, great. Speaking of annoying siblings, here comes my brother. Your brother? What? <gasps> oh, Trixie's... gosh! Beatrix, I've been looking all over for you. <laughs> what? Huh? What? what have I told you about calling me Beatrix? What's going on? It's Bean Counter now. It's a much more normal and respectable name, and it better suits my job. Your job is why I'm here. Dad wanted me to find you and tell you that he heard about what happened with Madame Olive Twist and the other ponies. He said he'd offer to help pay their bills, you'd just have to extend your deadline. What else did he say? I know he didn't just leave it at that. He, uh, told them that he was disappointed in you, and that he didn't know where he went wrong raising you. Of course he did. But we can't all be perfect like you. 
Wait, don't turn this around on me. I didn't do anything. Oh, you never do. You're a magician. You have no idea what it's like to have actual responsibilities. Oh, whoa now, wait a minute. If you mess up, the worst that will happen is you pull the wrong rabbit out of the hat. My cutie Mark's calling literally has me holding other ponies accountable. Uh, you have no idea. I didn't pick this. We weren't all lucky enough to hit the cutie mark jackpot. You know that isn't fair. No, what isn't fair is that when you follow your calling, you get praised. But when I follow mine, I get nothing but hate. Well, if your calling causes you to hurt your neighbors and your family, then maybe we'd all be better off without you. Wow. Wow. Fine. <sighs> I didn't mean it! Come back! Well, go after her then! Well, with this blizzard moving in, she'll have to come back home soon. And I can tell her I didn't mean what I said then. Huh? That's so... unlike the dad that Trixie knows. Usually he's so... overprotective when it comes to snowstorms. Trixie wonders what. <gasps> oh, butt cheeks! Well, she definitely came this way. With this weather, Trixie sure is glad she's a ghost. Ghost? Uh, uh, big cat? Uh, uh, no, uh, Beatrix! Oh, wait, she doesn't like being called Beatrix. She prefers being called Bean Counter. Bean Counter? Oh, uh, wait, Trixie doesn't like calling her Bean Counter. <gasps> there she is! Oh no, this doesn't look good. Trixie? Yes, Trixie's here. I'm... I'm so cold. No need to worry. Trixie will simply cast a spell to warm you right up. No! Trixie's magic isn't working! Oh, Sombra never told Trixie how to use magic as a ghost! B please tell my f family I was wrong. So, so wrong. No, no, no! You've got to stay awake! You must stay here! If this is Trixie's last heartwarming lesson, then this is Trixie's last chance to ever see you again. Uh, this again? We've done this the last six years in a row. What's the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm beginning to think you may have an unhealthy obsession with Santa. Yeah. I'm not so sure this method suits you. We should go bowling! Okay. It's a chain necklace. Trixie noticed you really like chain themed fashion. Trixie can't. Trixie can't lose you. <laughs> randomly gets hit by the Friendship Express. Trixie thinks she should be fine. Ah, well, if you don't mind, Trixie didn't get very much sleep and has been awake for quite a while. <gasps> Trixie's back in her room! Oh no, Trixie hopes that wasn't all just a dream. Never just a dream. Morning, Dad. Good morning, Beatrix. Now, I know you don't like it when I call it's you- It's okay, Dad. Trixie doesn't mind you calling her Beatrix anymore. Oh, speaking of Beatrix, your aunt arrived this morning and she wanted to see you when you woke up. <gasps> She's still alive? <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. She was fine when I left her outside a minute ago. It was just a blizzard last night, nothing to get worried about. There she is! This will be the first time we've seen each other that neither of us are ghosts. Oh wait, no. This is the first time for Trixie. Trixie just realized this isn't the same ghost Trixie knew. 
This ghost has never been a ghost. She won't have any memories of our heart swarmings together. But, oh, she's alive, and that's what's important. Happy heart swarming, Trixie. Happy heart swarming. It's so very nice to see you again. It's been so long. How have you been? Trixie's been fine. So, how have you been? Uh. Oh no, what does Trixie call her? Uh. You? Nailed it! You're trying not to call me Ghost, aren't you? Uh, what? Huh? Ghost? In the flesh. <laughs> b, b how? What happened to the other you? The one who didn't die in the storm? I'm her too. It's the strangest thing. I have the memories of both my lives. I can only figure it's a reward for the job I did helping you. I'd be willing to bet you'll get your memories for this timeline in a few days. Which reminds me, for obvious reasons, you can't really call me Ghost anymore. So instead you can call... Yeah, yeah, Trixie knows she'll have to call you Bean Counter. Oh, good gracious, no. That was just a phase, a terrible and embarrassing phase that I can't believe you saw. Haha, <laughs> thank goodness. No, in this timeline, you call me Aunt B. Trixie can call you that. It'll take some getting used to, but so will you be Trixie's aunt. You know, all those years ago when I was first given the task to save you, I would have never guessed you'd also end up saving me. I mean, you summoned the honest-to-goodness fire of friendship to save me. I don't know that there is any better evidence that you understand the spirit of heartswarming than that. It wasn't all, Trixie. You helped make Trixie a better pony. And a better friend. You've done the same for me, Trixie. Oh, this is the second best present ever. Second? Well, Santa did give Trixie a really nice quesadilla maker a few years ago. <laughs> and it was always said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well. If any man alive possessed the knowledge, may that be truly said of us and all of us. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone. Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Thanks for the years, the memories, and all of the Christmases.